Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we are going to be looking at the XML function on Power Automate. Now we're creating a XML example variable, which is a string variable, and we're going to be writing our XML into this variable. And as you can see on the right hand side of your screen, I've got some example XML data there. And what we're then going to do is we're going to use our function, the XML function, open the parentheses, and then pass this variable into it. What that's going to do then is it's going to convert our string to XML and it returns the actual XML. Now this obviously looks exactly the same as what we've written in the string but as we go on to Power Automate in a moment I'll show you how it actually converts it to the XML syntax. Okay so we're on the Power Automate website and I've got a manual trigger for my flow and then creating my variable, which is a string type. It's called XML example. And then I've got my example XML here. What I'm then doing is I'm using a compose action to then use my XML function to pass in the string XML example that I've just written to actually convert it to XML. So let's actually take a look at how this performs once we run the actual flow. Right, so as you can see, our flow has run successfully. We've assigned the XML to a string type variable. And then what we've done is we've actually converted it to XML. Now, as you can see here, the syntax for XML is highlighting, and you can see that we now have XML returned to us. And that is how you use the XML function on Power Automate. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.